Hey everybody, welcome to the Alias Beltless FAQ. I'm gonna go over very briefly how to set your beltless up. You can see here we have several sets of holes that you can choose to pick the correct location for your Ulti clips. So let's answer that first. How do I know where I need my Ulti clips? At the, at the basis, what I would tell you is just keep them in the outside locations and try it for a little while and see what that thinks. But here's a few things that I've found in using this that I take into consideration. So you can see here, this is the one that I carry and I've cut it down to fit here. So I cut off these two locations. You can actually see we have some, we have some uh, dotted lines on here for some suggested cut lines. How I figured that out is I wanted to make sure that my hand is not making contact with this ulti clip. So on this gun, this is the one that I'm really gonna carry beltless, it's a, it's a small gun. So it's the only one I'm, I'm gonna use this on. So I made sure that my hand is not gonna come in contact with this ulti clip. You can imagine if it's over here, and I go to jam my hand and I might hit the top of this, that would not be great. This one, I just left in this location. I think I might actually be fine if it was in a little bit closer. This side on the slide side of your gun, it's not gonna matter as much. Uh, but what, what you wanna try to do is leave as much room between these two points as possible to give you as much stability as possible. That's one of the great things about this, the, the beltless platform is this gives you two far mounting points instead of one ulti clip in the middle or something like that. So this is gonna give you a lot more stability. So I would start with leaving your ulti clips on the farthest points and see how that works for you. And then you can kind of move them in from there if you need to. And then you can trim them down. So I thought I'd show you here. Here's one of them with the, with the trim lines. A good pair of scissors is really all you need. And you can cut this down, maybe kind of round off the corners like that and you're pretty much good to go. So you can cut this to size as needed. This is going to come to you set up for a right hander. Southpaws, sorry, but you're the minority and we set these up for the majority. So it's set up for you guys. Now for left handers, all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the receiver off and the two ulti clips off and then flip it around and put it on the other side and it'll look something like this. So the alias logo is gonna be on the inside instead of the outside, but now the slide is gonna be on, on this side and you will be set up for left-handed. Let's talk a little bit about ride height and setting ride height. The most flexibility you're going to have is using the alias bottom mount holster. If you have a style of holster that is the bottom mount, so it mounts down here, you're gonna have a lot of ride height adjustability. This is a top mount holster. With a top mount clip, you're not gonna have a whole lot of ride height adjustment on the holster, but we do offer a little bit of ride height adjustment on the beltless. What you can do is you can take, take these screws out of the Ulti clip and you can move this up or down. Now, I like to have two mounting points, so there's really not a whole lot of room to raise it up but you can drop it down a little bit further if, if you would like. There's another set of holes here. Let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So, all right, so I'm taking the barrel nuts and I'm gonna put them in the top two holes. You can see the other ones in the, in the bottom two holes. So I'm gonna put these in the top two. I'm gonna take the washers, move them over, put this on here and get the screws tightened down. So you can see now, I have this mounted to the top, top set of holes. This is how it's gonna come to you, somewhere like this. Now you can, you're, you can see here, my pant line is actually gonna be up here, and instead of down here, it's gonna be closer to the, to the, where the screws are in the clip is gonna be closer to where this is going to ride. It's gonna be a very, very deep carry for a top mount. Now if, say on your bottom mount holster, you have it set up for your other belt 
at a different ride height, maybe something like this will work a little bit better. But you can see the belt line here is going to be at the, at the top of the top of the holster here instead of down here. So this gives you some adjustability on your ride height. Let's look at how to put this on and get it positioned. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Ulta clips. And then I'm just wearing some Victos shorts. These are very, very lightweight, almost swim trunk type material. I like to open these up and then I'm going to take my holster and clip it in. You can use a holster with a wing, uh, you know, wh whatever holster you're going to use. Go ahead and get, get it clipped in. And then now I can position exactly where I want it to be at. And then I'm going to lock down one of them. If you need to, if you say your shorts are still a little loose, you can kind of pull, pull the material in a little bit and then lock it down. Gives you a little more slack here, but it tightens up the rest of the uh, of your waistline. So that's very simple, how I like to get it locked into place and get it set up. Now, if I want to take it out, I can either flip these off and take the whole thing out, or I can just push the safety over and slide it out and leave the beltless in my shorts. One more time, and slide and lock it in like that. Either push the safety over or flip these up and take the whole thing out. I hope that helps you guys out. If you have any other questions, never hesitate to reach out to us. Leave a comment down below or send an email over to our customer service and we're happy to help you. Guys, thank you so much. Carry on, enjoy the summer carrying beltless in your comfy gym shorts. We'll see you guys.